Hello friends. Hello friends. This video on playing with numbers part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at the divisibility by 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. So here the concept is little similar to that of divisibility by 3. So they are also be focused on the sum of the digits. So let us look at some examples. So let's say you have a number 9683 and you have to decide if it is divisible by 9 or not. So what do you do? You add the digits up and the sum comes out to be say 26. Now 26, do you think it is divisible by 9? Quickly write down the multiples of 9 in order to know if it is divisible or not. So what do you see? 26 is not divisible by 9. Now in case you are not very sure, you break it down again. Again find out the sum of the digits. So that comes out to be 8 which is not divisible by 9. Therefore this number as a whole is not divisible by 9. Let us look, if, if you want by actual division also you can prove this, that this is not divisible by 9. For example, this is 9, 1 is a 9, here we have 6, put it 0, so 9, 7 is a 63, this is 5, here it is 53, 9, 5 is a 45, so you are left with 8. So 8 is left as a remainder which shows that 9, 6, 8, 3 is not divisible by 9. Let us look at another example like 1, 8, 8, 1, 1881. Do you think this will be divisible by 9? Let's quickly look at the sum of the digits. And the sum of the digits is 18 and 18 is divisible by 9. So this proves that this number 1881 is also divisible by 9. So you can prove this also by actual division. So you, if you perform actual division, you'll see that the remainder is 0, proving that 1881 is divisible by 9. So again, how the divisibility rule for 9 works. So if we will prove it in a similar way as we did for the divisibility test for 3. So let's consider this number 1881. So we will expand the number like this 1 into 1000 plus 8 into 100 plus 8 into 10 plus 1 into 1. So this is how we will expand the numbers. So we can write 1000 as 999 plus 1. Similarly, we can write 100 as 99 plus 1. We can also write 10 as 9 plus 1. And finally, 1 into 1. So now here, when we write it like this, very clearly we can say that 9 is, a divisible, is divisible by 9. 99 is also divisible by 9. And 999 is also divisible by 9. So now here as per distributive property we are breaking down the terms that is a into b plus c can be written as a into b plus b into c. So what we are doing is a into b plus c can be written as a into b plus a into c that is what we are doing here. So this is what we get. Now here we can very clearly say that all these terms are divisible by 9, whichever has 99 or 9 or 999. So all these terms are divisible. So what are we left with? So we are left with 1 into 1 plus 8 into 1 plus 8 into 1 plus 1 into 1 which is basically 1 plus 8 plus 8 plus 1 that is nothing but sum of the digits. So that means we are only unsure about the sum of the digits. So if sum of the digits is divisible by 9, the remaining part is anyways divisible by 9 because remaining portion has multiples of 9 like 9, 99, 999, 9999 and so on. So therefore we check for the sum of the digits. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.